think Patrick Majewski really became a star tonight. I think his fight was it, everything that, 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 you know, real club fights are supposed to be about. Uh, it was a tremendous give and take, a tremendous fight, and it was a beautiful ending, and we're going to see that highlight for a long, long time. Patrick, would you come up and speak? Yes, of course. Please. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, you know, uh, coming to this fight, I was expecting uh, for a uh, really tough fight, but uh, I was not thinking that's going to be that tough, and I had to step up. Uh, I know I've made a lot of mistakes, but, uh, you know, uh, every fight we try to look at my mistakes and uh, get back to the gym and uh, try to fix it. You know, uh, Eddie Caminero, very tough fight, and uh, uh, thank you to the promoters. Uh, thank you to main events and uh, star boxing and uh, Ziggy promotion uh, to give me a chance to uh, show myself to all Polish people and American people. And, uh, you know, uh, I promise to work hard and, uh, you know, uh, keep giving exciting fights. Please follow me and I, I promise uh, I will do better every, every fight. Thank you. Patrick, how, how concerned were you with, with the cut? And did you know how bad it was? And was there any thought at all after that second round of, of, of possibly stopping? Because it did look pretty bad from our angle. Yes, you know, I, I felt that was, I thought that's an old cut, you know, op open so up, you know, and, uh, and you know, uh, I was a little, little bit concerned because I was not sure that was a punch or headbutt, you know. Uh, but I just tried to focus, do my best, you know, uh, and. Uh, I know he was, he was coming, so I have to sit down and uh, hit him with a couple punches and move around. You know, he was a uh, tough guy, coming with the white punches, you know, he really surprised me in some moments of this fight. And, uh, you know, then after uh, I was trying just to get to the fourth round, because, you know, uh, if it started before, uh, maybe if, I, if that was a punch, uh, i taking a chance to lose the fight, too, you know. So uh, I was trying to bring it just... Uh, protect myself and I just keep fighting, you know, work on the jab and hit wherever I see. When you speak of the angles, was it confusing when you returned from South Pole to Orthodox? Uh, you know, uh, I don't have a trouble fighting with the salt poles. I got in my in my Atlantic City boxing lab, Shaman Alvarez. I got a lot of work with him. Uh, he's a good salt pole fighter and uh, if he's turning a salt pole, I just uh, you know, no different. Uh, I know what to do. Just you know, keep, keep that jab in his face. You know, and uh, keep hitting him to the body. Actually, when always when they turn south pole, I try to hit them a couple times stronger, so they got confused and they turn back to the orthodox. He seemed like a tough guy that was able to take a lot of punishment going into that eighth round. Did you think you would still have a chance to stop him like you did? No, uh, I didn't look for a for a knockout. Uh, you know, not, if, if you're looking for a knockout, you're never going to find it. Uh, just, uh, I, was, I was just boxing. Uh, you know, last round, I tried to relax, you know, be cautious, be careful, you know, because uh, he was tr throwing some bombs, you know, and uh, I, I put some combination together and I took him out. What does it mean to you to hear the crowds chanting your name and chanting false stuff, false stuff? Uh, and, you know, and is that in, in, inspiring when you get? Yeah, that was a big, big, big motivation. Uh, he was, he was coming, you know, uh, 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 hitting me with couple, with couple punches. But I was thinking to myself, no way you're gonna take me out uh, through my crowd, or, you know. <laughs> so I'll just keep, 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 keep coming. You know, I have a big, big, big heart to fight, and I'm always coming uh, in the shape. So I fight him all rounds. I know it, I'm sorry. I know it's early yet, but how bad do you think the cut is and how long is it going to keep you out? Uh, yeah, the cut is, is pretty bad. Uh, usually they take it. You need 100 days to heal it. It's perfect, you know, but uh, uh, no, no matter what, uh, just uh, st stay in the gym, keep keep working, uh, get, get better. And uh, as soon as the cut heals, uh, we see. We're going to see what, what's coming next. What's the number one lesson you learned tonight? from this hard fight? Uh, move your head. If you stop moving your head, they don't <laughs> move it for you. You seem to get revitalized after the minute's rest. And then after the first half a minute of the next round, he was, his legs were not under him. 
you know what you you were right, but uh, I, I was after like two rounds. I think to myself, I'm gonna start hitting him because whatever I hit him strong, he's coming back stronger than me. So I was thinking, if I stop hitting him, he maybe won't come to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, to answer on your question, uh, yeah, he was taking some punches. You know, uh, I got him hurt. Uh, you know. Uh, but I think I should follow more. Uh, after I got in there, I should uh, try finish him. But uh, I was also trying to not punch myself out. You know, just uh, I, I know I got a, I got a guy hurt. So, uh, but keep working the same thing. Jen, Jeb, I set it up the other punches, and maybe you take him out. Yes, yes. How do you feel? You still the show tonight? Uh, I don't know, Thomas is a big champion. All other fighters, fighter, Saddam Ali, and uh, everybody who fought undercards, uh, Gabriel Rosado, and uh, that my friend who's speaking half Polish over there, too. Uh, you know, they, 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 they all gave a good good show, and you know, everybody try to uh, give uh, all heart to the fight. So uh, I don't know, I was just doing my job. What did it mean for you to be on the same card with Thomas, and, and the idea that, you know, you're both of Polish background and he's almost plays the trail for a lot of other, you know, Polish natives that have come here. And, uh, uh, they, and is that, you know, is there a sense of pride, the fact that uh, you were on the same card with him? Yes, it is. It is a big thing for me because, you know, my name is uh, start to existing on this, you know, it's a boxing world. It's a, like, especially here in the United States, uh, it's a big world because it's a lot of fighters, you know, and I, uh, to fight on that kind of big show, I starting to be recognizing, uh, you know, uh, uh, on this, on this, on this show. That's why it's a, uh, you know, uh, big pleasure to fight for you know, that kind of shows. Come on, people. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got this down. <laughs> you yeah, okay, uh, all right, that's all. Thank you so much, and uh, have a good night.